the open questions there are, what does the man manifestation of super intelligence look like? So yeah. like, what are we going to, you, you talked about why do I want to merge with AI? Like what, what's the actual marginal benefit here? If I, if we have a super intelligent system, yeah. how will it make our life better? So let's, let's, that's a great question, but let's break it down to little pieces. All right. On the one hand, it can make our life better in lots of simple ways. You mentioned like a, a care robot or something that helps me do things. It cooks. I don't know what it does, right? Little things like that. We can have super better, smarter cars. We can have, you know, better agents that aids helping us in our work environment and things like that. To me, that's like the easy stuff, the, the simple stuff in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, um, and so in the same way that computers made our lives better in, in ways, many, many ways, I will have those kind of things. To me, the really exciting thing about AI is the sort of its transcendent, transcendent quality in terms of humanity. We're still biological organisms. We're still stuck here on Earth. It's going to be hard for us to live anywhere else. Uh, I don't think you and I are going to want to live on Mars anytime soon. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and we're flawed. You know, we may end up destroying ourselves. It's totally possible. Uh, we, if not completely, we could destroy our civilizations. You know, it's just face the fact we have issues here, but we yeah. can create intelligent machines that can help us in various ways. For example, one example I gave, and now this sounds a little sci-fi, but I believe this. If we really wanted to live on Mars, we'd have to have intelligent systems that go there and build the habitat for us, mm -hmm. not humans. Humans are never going to do this. It's just too hard. Um, but could we have a thousand or ten thousand, you know, engineer workers up there doing this stuff, building things, terraforming Mars? Sure, maybe we can move to Mars. But then, if we want to, if we want to go around the universe, should I send my children around the universe, or should I send some intelligent machine, which is like a child, mm -hmm. that represents me and understands our needs here on Earth, that could travel through space? Um, so it sort of, it, in some sense, intelligence allows us to transcend our the limitations of our biology. Uh, e it, with and, and and don't think of it as a negative thing. It's in some sense my children transcend my the, the, the my biology too because they they live beyond me. Yeah. Um. And we impart they represent me and they also have their own knowledge and they, I can impart knowledge to them. So intelligent machines will be like that too, but not limited like us. I mean, but the the question is, um, th there's so many ways that transcendence can happen, and th the merger with AI and humans is one of those ways. So you said intelligent basically beings or systems propagating throughout the universe, representing us humans. They represent us humans in the sense they represent our knowledge and our history, not us individually. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But I mean, the question of, is it just a database with uh, with a really damn good uh, model No, no, they're the conscious, conscious just like us. Okay, but just different. They're different, uh, just like my children are different. They're like me, but they're different. Um, these are more different. I guess maybe I've already, I kind of, I take a very broad view of our life here on, on Earth. I say, you know, why are we living here? Are we just living because we live? Mm -hmm. Is it, are we surviving because we can survive? Are we fighting just because we want to just keep going? What's the point of it? Yeah. Right? So to me, the point, if I ask myself, what's the point of life is, what transcends that ephemeral sort of biological experience is, to me, this is my answer, is the acquisition of knowledge to understand more about the universe uh, and to explore. And that's partly to learn more, right? Um, I don't view it as a terrible thing if the ultimate outcome of humanity is we create systems that are intelligent, that are our offspring, but that are not like us at all. And we stay, we stay here and live on Earth as long as we can, which won't be forever, but as long as we can. And, but that would be a great thing to do. It, it, it's, not a, it's not like a negative thing. Well, would uh, you be okay then if uh, the human species vanishes, but our knowledge is preserved and keeps keep being expanded by intelligent systems? I want our knowledge to be preserved and expanded. Yeah. Am I okay with humans dying? No, I don't want that to happen. But if it if it does happen, what if we, we were sitting here and this is a, we were the last two people on earth and we're saying, Lex, we blew it, it's all over, right? Yeah. 
wouldn't I feel better if I knew that our knowledge was preserved and that we had agents rep- that knew about that, that were trans, you know, that, were, that left Earth? I would want that. Mm. It's better than not having that. You know, I make the analogy of like, you know, the dinosaurs, the poor dinosaurs. They lived for, you know, tens of millions of years. They raised their kids. They, they you know, they, they fought to survive. They were hungry. They, they, you know, they did everything we do. And then they're all gone. Yeah. Like, you know, and, and if we didn't discover their bones, nobody would ever know that they ever existed. Right. Do we want to be like that? I don't want to be like that. Well,